The early morning of August 23, 1968 was calm, with a clear sky. It was a moonless night, due to the new lunar cycle. The darkness was absolute in the forward operating base 4, better known as FOB-4. This was a station near the Marble Mountains southeast of Da Nang, in Vietnam, belonging to the Northern Command and Control, inhabited mostly by members of the U.S. Special Forces. The silence in the complex was total. The American soldiers slept soundly, while those on guard watched the darkness, trying unsuccessfully to make out anything. Some members of the Special Forces smoked and watched the empty sky from one of the high points of the Marble Mountains. It seemed to be an ideal night, an oasis between the struggles of war. However, even if they didn't see it, something was moving in the dark, preparing to attack. The ambush of the North Vietnamese sappers and the Viet Song at a phobie for that occurred on August 23 would go down in history as the darkest night of the Special Forces, not only in the Vietnam War, but in its entire history. But, how did the attack on forward operating base 4 unfold? How did the Americans defend their compound to avoid even more casualties? In the next few minutes we'll tell you all about the fight between the North Vietnamese sappers and the American Green Berets. Are you ready? Then, prepare to travel back in time. Operators of the United States Army Special Forces actively participated in the Vietnam War. They were even in the Asian country before the U.S. government decided to intervene directly and concretely in the conflict. Since the late 1950s, the Green Berets were their training allied troops from South Vietnam. Throughout the war, some 20,000 Special Forces men were involved in conducting thousands of missions ranging from covert cross-border operations to reconnaissance patrols. While most of these served in their operational detachments, a few hundred joined a highly classified group, the MSEVSOG, or Military Assistance Command in Vietnam, Studies and Observations Group. This command was formed in 1964 and was responsible for carrying out covert special operations in cross-border missions in Cambodia, Thailand, Laos and, mainly, North Vietnam. They waged their own secret war that lasted until 1972. Made up of members of the Special Forces, the SEALs, the Air Commandos, and local mercenaries, the MACVSOG was divided geographically into North, Central, and South subcommands. It was precisely at a Northern Command and Control base where the tragic night that would be remembered as the darkest in the history of the Green Berets occurred. In early 1968, the Vietnam People's Army and the Viet Song launched the massive military campaign known as the Tet Offensive. This was intended to weaken South Vietnamese and U.S. forces through a series of surprise attacks on military and civilian targets. In August of that year, the campaign was in its Phase 3, also known as the August Offensive, which consisted of two large waves of attacks. On the night of the 22nd to the 23rd of this month, the North Vietnamese forces carried out 36 attacks on different bases, towns and cities occupied by the enemy. One of the targets was Forward Operating Base 4, a MACVSOG Northern Command and Control Compound. This was a top-secret special operations station, swarming with Green Berets, most of whom had moved there from Da Nang Air Base. The base was southeast of that same city, at the foot of the north face of the Marble Mountain, a natural accident with five peaks interspersed by flatland that functioned as a cover. However, despite its strategic location, that night the complex received an attack that is believed to have been planned for a year. The same, like the rest of those that occurred on that date, was specifically programmed to coincide with a moonless night, where the darkness would be total. The perfect setting for an ambush. The attack was carried out by the feared North Vietnamese sappers, who were a kind of special operations troops. These were highly trained and had an imposing reputation, as they were generally communist fanatics willing to die on every mission, like the Japanese kamikazes. They even had white ribbons tied around their heads that had written in blood, we have come here to die. That night, the North Vietnamese sappers successfully infiltrated FOB-4, taking advantage of the darkness and their knowledge of the area to avoid American security. Suddenly, in the dead of night, a series of explosions rocked the entire complex. Sappers and members of the Viet Cong attacked the camp with surprise charges, destroying everything in their path. 
The first target was the communications bunker which was immediately destroyed to prevent the call for reinforcements. Similarly, reconnaissance team buildings, barracks and American tents were pulverized. The situation was critical, the Green Berets were trying to defend themselves in the dark, in complete chaos, while the North Vietnamese appeared from all sides, ready to die for their cause. A group of explosives-laden sappers even managed to get into the base's ammunition and weapons depot to detonate themselves inside, destroying the US weapons and creating a huge explosion that briefly lit up the base. The Green Berets who were on one of the tops of Marble Mountain obtained flares and used them to aid in defense, lighting up the camp and firing at enemies with their automatic weapons. The special forces slowly managed to regroup and defend themselves more effectively, with essential help from the indigenous troops in the area. Shortly after, an AC-47 Spooky joined the defense with its firepower and also managed to prevent an escape attempt by a thousand North Vietnamese prisoners who were being held in a field adjacent to the base. Little by little, the combat died down while the Americans managed to organize themselves and the enemy troops began to withdraw from FOB-4. Many special forces operators left the battle and fled in trucks to take their comrades to nearby hospitals. The ambush left many material losses. Additionally, 17 Green Berets were killed, the largest number of deaths in the same day in the history of the special forces. Another 125 were injured. There were more dozens of casualties, many of these from the native ally troops, although the specific number of deceased was never disclosed. Just before sunrise, the North Vietnamese attack had completely dissolved, leaving behind a destroyed camp and the darkest night in U.S. Army Special Forces history. We have reached the end of the video and we want to know your opinion, do you think that the quick reaction and defense of the Green Berets prevented more casualties? Leave your answer in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also remember to watch other videos to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. And stay tuned for our next video.